Hi everyone. Josh, kaisa hai? How is the Josh? I am Javed Ahmatak. I am from Anantana, Kashmir, and uh, I was the youngest of all in my family. Loved by everyone. Every person from my family had a lot of expectation from me. Uh, but uh, I don't know where from my story started. But I remember my uh, childhood days. I was very much... Uh, jolly boy, very tricky, and very naughty. So uh, my education started from a local school. It was known as Cambridge Public School. So it was a very uh, known school because uh, uh, it was the first of its kind English medium school in our locality. After that, uh, I continued past my 12th from the district headquarter and later joined BSc in degree college Anantrag and I was in the final year of my degree uh, when life changed. Uh, I was uh, living with my cousin who was a politician but in JNK conflict was very high and some veiled person, armed person came to our house. They tried to kidnap my cousin because they don't want, uh, people should affiliate themselves with the politicians. They should have uh, complete uh, separation from the politics so that the um, militancy should grow. Uh, but uh, we had a kind of uh, high pitch voice, uh, a kind of quarrel with them and they fired indiscriminately and I got a single bullet that created spinal cord injury uh, to me and I lost some vital organs. Uh, and I was in the bed, I was at the hospital, I was admitted in various hospitals for one year, not knowing where to go, how to start, what to do. And uh, when I was uh, shifted to my home, uh, for six months I was in complete trauma, trouble. I wrote a letter to the doctor who operated me, sent it by post to uh, my uh, one of the relative. And after I feel one month, the reply came, uh, doctor said that you uh, cannot walk. Uh, spinal cord injury is a very bad injury. Even a scratch can take 10 years to heal. Uh, so it is not possible that you will walk again. And it gave me again a trouble what to do. That it means after 21 years of uh, going here and there, I cannot walk, I cannot see world again. My world was shrinked to my length of my uh, arm. I was not knowing, I thought that was, this is the end of the life. But thoughts came in me that we are not ourselves uh, having every authority. Some authority is there who is running us. Let me see where life will take me. And I once saw my whole family was in sad condition. I shared a thought with my mother that I want to do something because doctor has not told that I can start my new life from wheelchair. A wheelchair was brought for me and I said my mother, let you go to the vicinity and bring some children so that I can give them the education because I had completed almost my BSc. So I started giving free tuitions to those who can't afford it. And within four years of time, I taught around hundreds of children who were militancy hit victim, who were orphans, who were not having anything. I started a book bank. Uh, give your old books, take the new uh, books from, for new class. Uh, I collected mobilized resources. So many people came and donated old books, stationery, uh, uh, uniform, school bags, shoes, everything. And I, it became a kind of hub for the children to come and go. It was my own room. Uh, my sister would sweep the room. Uh, she would uh, dust it uh, in two, three times a day. Groups will come. They will take the education. But my family looks very happy that something has changed. All the children changed my life. 
they start taking me to the gardens, they start taking me to the different places. I was a volunteer for pulse polio immunization in my college days, and I again wrote to the local BMO that let me start a counter again from my house so that I can draw, start polio, giving polio drops to the children. And he gave me the idea that you have a lot of uh, young uh, adults with you, working with you, let you uh, go and uh, stop this traffic on the road and give uh, administer polio drops to the children who are traveling here and there. And that, from that day, 2001, the mission is on and on. Every pulse polio day, we um, uh, give polio drops to 400 children, to 600 children who are traveling, who, whose fathers, mothers don't know uh, if this is polio day. We stop them, even travelers from other states uh, coming to Kashmir. We stop them at a good place that is called Padshahi Bagh in my own vicinity. It is a national highway road. And we ask them for the food, tea, and we ask them your children need polio drops so that they are not victims of uh, polio or they shouldn't become disabled. And this mission uh, was later on changed by me. I saw disability from the close range. Uh, I cannot walk. I, I need help for go, even going to washroom. So I uh, uh, shared a thought with my uh, volunteers who are now, after five years now in, uh, ready to go to the college. I asked them, I want to see the children who are disabled children and not getting the education. We went to the certain villages and found a lot of uh, children with disabilities dropped out from school, having minimal disability, but school have thrown them out they have been denied, they have been asked, no, you can't get education. Uh, Adil Bai is here, he, he gave me a kind of uh, 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 a trust that we can do it. We started a uh, center, a small uh, room which we hired and uh, we got two, uh, two, three blind girls, uh, few children having the uh, intellectual disability. We started with them the children started coming out and they uh, told us what they feel in the schools, what has happened to them, how they are dropped out. And we start writing to people and we got a, a, a van from Indian Navy, Suresh Mehta was then the Indian Navy chief. We wrote to him that you are coming to Kashmir for some inaugural of a hospital. Give us a van, ambulance van, through which we can get the children with disabilities from our locality. And he agreed, he gave us a van. We started uh, ch ch mobilizing children, 36 children. Uh, we started with CRI, uh, Child Rights U organization came to uh, support us. And today we have a full-fledged school, rehabilitation center, vocational uh, uh, center. And I saw that, uh, and people tell me, you are not on this chair without a purpose. You are, you are, these children would have not got the education. They would have dropped out. They would have uh, been now the uh, parasites on the society. You have got this chair because of the, that purpose. So uh, don't feel that you uh, uh, are uh, roaming around and you are, it is a kind of punishment for you. It is a reward for you. It is a gift for you. And, uh, that was proved and certified by the Prime Minister of India when uh, in his monkey bath. <laughs> on 29th of November uh, 2015, he gave first lecture towards for the disabled uh, encouragement of person with disabilities and told that uh, once you are uh, having some difficulty, you start weeping. But see Javed who, have, who got the bloods and he lost too many uh, vital organs, but started working for the disabled person. Uh, we all should do that and, um, uh, in, uh, and announced Accessible India campaign. Uh, so money was uh, uh, put in for creating accessibility in old buildings. So many places got accessible. And after that, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, ha I have got a, kind of learning from this disability that once you are 
a part of a sector. I am part of disability sector. I am very proud to be a person with disability. I, if there is second life, I will again say, God, give me some challenge in, in the life. Because when we live a plain life, we see, we get everything, and there is no purpose. Uh, we are uh, son of a prime minister, son of a corporate, son of a, and everything is uh, in my house. Uh, there is no facility for which we have to struggle. But when we have a challenge, we see that uh, we struggle to see things where they are. Uh, we have the, uh, there is opportunity, but we have to cash it. We have to see where it is. And disability gave me that learning. I am uh, associated with disability sector. And we sh uh, every disabled person should know, not look at the disability. I am on the chair. Uh, I have uh, this and that de deficiency. We should see how we can be contributors for the person with disabilities. And I have got a lot of heroes here. I salute all those person with disabilities who are artists, who do a lot of innovations. And I, all, um, I am thankful to pharaohs, uh, Indian uh, 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 Inclusion Summit, that they gave me a platform after around, I am now going to 50, uh, after um, age of 48, I got a time to uh, be the part of an, uh, uh, a fellow uh, with a uh, team, with uh, uh, co-fellows who are just 22 years old. When uh, uh, they are young, but still everyone became my fan. Everyone is with me. Everyone is giving me full time. Everyone is giving me patiently listening to me. So no looking back. Trust in yourself. And there is a message that guns, weapons, they have only one uh, uh, mission that is to destroy life and property. Stop guns, uh, ban these weapons, and share friendship, share love, and don't make people disabled, make them able. Thank you.